What is that red bump? Sort of like a pimple that forms on the outside edge of the eyelid? It's probably a sty. On this episode of OcuTalk, Dr. Jennifer Yaldo will be explaining to us what styes are, what causes them, and possible treatment options. Dr. Yaldo? I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of Aki Talk. My name's Nick, and today we have a very special guest joining us from the Dry Eye Healing Institute in West Bloomfield, Michigan, Dr. Jennifer Yaldo. Dr. Yaldo, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Nick, for having me on the show today. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And uh, before we get started, Dr. Yaldo, uh, do you mind letting our audience know a little bit about your background, your specialty, and your practice? So I was born and raised in Michigan. I got my first pair of glasses when I was 14 years old, and I went to my optometrist every year after that. Um, they were just always so happy, laughing, smiling with me. It was a great experience every time. So it really inspired me to want to become an eye doctor. So um, I did my undergrad in three years. I got early acceptance to Michigan College of Optometry, and um, I just was really happy with everything I was learning, excited about it, and I really loved the medical aspect of eye care. And I've been working alongside uh, many eye care professionals and just learned so much. And here I am 12 years later, three kids later, uh, starting my own dry eye practice. And I'm really excited about it. Well, that's awesome. And that's an amazing story. And I'm very happy that you had an optometrist that was smiling all the time and great for you. And then now you turned out to be an amazing optometrist yourself. So congratulations. That's awesome. And uh, Dr. Yaldo, for our discussion today, uh, we were hoping that maybe you could discuss a little bit about styes. So can you tell us a little about like what they are and how they develop? A sty is when one of the oil glands or sweat glands around our eyelashes gets infected and bacteria builds up in there, forming a bump on our eyelid. Our eyelids, the upper lids and lower lids have oil glands that supply an oil to coat the front surface of our eye and protect our tears from evaporating in between blinking. So that way we can see well in between. So sometimes the oil glands do get clogged up and it can be infectious called a chalazion. And those are generally not tender. They're, they just, they get bigger over time, um, but they're not, they don't bother you. Sometimes if you touch them, they do. That's called the chalazion and that's not infectious. Some of them are angry looking and that's when we call those horiolums. Horiolums, they hurt. Um, they start to grow each day and they become infected. They become red, um, tender, swollen more. And you know sometimes you can, it looks like you have a droopy lid or something and um, those hurt and those need to be taken care of sooner than later. Well, fascinating information. Thank you for that, doctor. And uh, Dr. Yaldo, uh, who is most at risk uh, to getting a sty? So Nick, anyone can develop these. There is no age limit. Using uh, contaminated makeup, people that don't clean their eyelids and lashes properly. Um, if you have ocular rosacea, uh, seborrheic dermatitis, diabetes, those patients are a little bit more likely to get this or any kind of eyelid margin disease called blepharitis, which is inflammation of lids and lashes. A lot of bacteria builds up in the lashes and if it's not cleaned properly over time, that builds up and causes size as well. Gotcha, well, perfect. And I'll make sure to clean my makeup off my face before I go to bed to make sure. I <laughs> yeah, that, that was great information. Thank you, doctor. And uh, so what are the signs that people should be looking out for to say like, uh, this may be a sty that's coming, coming, coming on. I need to go talk to Dr. Yaldo about it. Most of the time people wake up with these, not the best way to wake up, but um, you can feel a lump on your eye, a bump. If you close your eyes, you kind of can touch it and feel like there's something there. Sometimes you won't feel anything there initially. It'll just look more tender, more swollen, maybe like a droopy eyelid that can happen. Um, maybe you'll wake up with some watery eyes, like unusual, some discharge, um, burning. Sometimes uh, it could be presenting, you know, just small little bump, or sometimes it can just, you wake up and it's big. Oh, well, I gotcha. Well, now, now I know what to look out for when this happens. And um, so how do we go about once I find out like, you know, I have a sty. So how do we and I, I come to you? How, how do we go about treating uh, that sty? So it's very important to use localized heat on the sty. 
Um, when I say localized, I mean by investing in one of these, an eye mask. I definitely recommend you invest in one of these in your house just to even have. Um, you might each, each want to have one eventually, but this is going to provide us sustained heat for about 10 minutes. This heat will be um, applied to the eyelid just like this and you relax. And for about 10 to 15 minutes, you'll lay down four times a day. So the more times you do it, the better to really loosen up the oil gland and open it up, try to express it out. Um, and sometimes these, uh, alongside with this treatment, I would prescribe an ointment, uh, antibiotic ointment, because it is an infection. Antibiotic ointment or antibiotic steroid ointment depends on you know the presentation that day. Sometimes I'll do an oral antibiotic as well. But I definitely encourage using um, eyelid cleansing foaming sprays. Acusef makes a great one. Um, there's a foaming cleanser that I recommend. Uh, sometimes they can, they can do just a eyelid moist, pre-moistened wipe. I recommend those as well. Um, so there's a lot of things we can do um, in a short period of time to make it go away. Well, excellent. We're, uh, we're very excited that you recommend our products and thank you very much for that. Um, so are, are there any preventative measures that we can take to avoid getting styes? There are preventative measures. Um, Using body bar soap, I find a lot of patients wash their face with body bar soap, and that's really harsh on the eyes because they're such delicate structures. So we're drying out our eyes. And um, so I recommend using a gentle facial cleanser. Um, Akisap does make a great one for makeup removing, also for women. It's called Zoria. I recommend that product to my patients because um, it's very gentle. So washing our eyelids and lashes is very important morning and night. So again, using the foaming eyelid cleansers, there's pre-moistened pads you can use, um, and you can buy those over the counter just to keep your eyelids and eyelashes healthy even throughout the day. So morning and night, just like you brush your teeth morning and night, get into the habit of cleaning out your eyelids morning and night as well. Um, you can, making sure that you can remove your makeup every night for ladies, go in there with a Q-tip, take a little Q-tip, dip it in the liquid egg makeup remover and get it in there on the water line and get all the nitty gritties out because those little nitty gritties are gonna build up over time and cause you know, a sty to happen and those are not fun. Um, don't rub and touch your eyes frequently, um, change your makeup. And then I recommend hypochlorous acid spray. So Akizab does make a great one again, I love your products. Um, they make a great one. And so in the morning after you're done, washing your face and brushing your teeth and getting ready to go, just close your eyes, spray that hypochlorous acid. That will help uh, deter some of the bacteria and debris is flowing out in the air and it's a protective layer against your lashes because they like to trap things. So by using the spray and going on your day, you'll be fine. So Dr. Yaldo, let's say I'm a terrible patient and I don't get my sty treated. I just go, yeah, you know, whatever. I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, what happens to a sty if it goes untreated? Um, if it is a non-tender, you know, bump, sometimes those can go away on their own within one to two weeks. So you're lucky then at that point. But when it becomes uh, more inflamed, like a hordeolum, those ones that hurt you, the angry looking ones, they're swollen, those we need to take more care of. So initially just uh, applying the warm heat is gonna help, but if it doesn't go away, it can turn into a cyst over time as well. So sometimes these things, they'll just stick with us for months, years, you know, uh, without being untreated. If it bothers you, then we can get it taken out um, surgically sometimes, or, you know, there's other methods we can do but uh, most cases they'll open and drain on their own and heal without further intervention. But we do have to worry about preseptal cellulitis where that little bump starts to spread across your whole lid. It can be upper or lower, wherever it started from, it can start swelling up more and more. You definitely need to see an eye doctor immediately for those conditions. Um, or sometimes it's something called orbital cellulitis, which can spread across the whole orbit of the eye. And that's more serious where you need to be on IV antibiotics. So definitely important to just Call your eye doctor the day you get it and go from there to see what the best recommendations will be for you so you can get it taken care of. Thank you. And um, Dr. Yaldo, are there any new technologies or developments that are on the eye care horizon that we should be on the lookout for right now? There are a lot of, the dry eye space is, is just growing so exponentially. So there are a lot of devices out there, something called LLLT, so low light level therapy. Um, it's fun because it's like different lights that we're using on patients, blue light, red light, green lights, and um, each light targets a different powerhouse of the cells. And um, it's a wearable technology. Everything is painless, non-invasive. Um, a lot of exciting things happening. Sometimes with this dyes as well in the office where uh, we can do IPL, which is an intense pulse light. Um, it's utilized to zap these in the office. So sometimes if you have an event, 
I can zap that for you sometimes in a couple of days um, using the LED lights also with the low light level therapy, but we can do in office treatments as well as um, opening up the oil glands on a deeper level with heated treatments that we can do. Perfect. Again, great information, Dr. Yaldo. Thank you so much. And uh, before we leave today, was there anything that you would like to tell our audience? Anything else that you'd like to let them know? Uh, my daughter recently had a sty, so I, don't, I definitely um, started cleaning her lashes and lids out more frequently um, using these. So Akisaf Baby, I definitely recommend you investing in this product as well at home for those that have kids because they're always out and about and this is my best friend now every morning they know to clean their lashes and lids before they go and at nighttime as well. So I really am teaching them good eyelid hygiene. It's so important to teach these kids and they're out and about or even just adults too. So we get in our habits. So cleaning our lashes out of these bacteria will help prevent getting these larger bumps and lumps in our eyes. But I'm also really excited that I'm starting my dry eye clinic. Um, that is my exciting space right now. I really want to help those, um, you know, that are on the computers all the time. Their eyes are just dry, heavy, tired. Um, come and see me. There are a lot of exciting things we can do in the office to help you so that you don't have to do a lot at home. Well, Dr. Yaldo, you've been doing it. You did an amazing job and you're doing an amazing job with your kids with the uh, eyelid hygiene and uh, recommending our products. We're very happy about that. Everyone, that's Dr. Jennifer Yaldo from the Dry Eye Healing Institute in West Bloomfield. Michigan. Dr. Yaldo, thank you so much for joining us again. Thanks so much for having me. And also you can follow me on Instagram to see all the latest and greatest and um, of me opening my office. So dry eye underscore specialist, please follow me. Excellent. Go ahead and follow Dr. Yaldo on Instagram too. Thank you again so much, Dr. Yaldo. Thank you, Nick. It's been a pleasure.